there's a bear right over there laying down. He just come over to the bottom of this one. tree that we're both sitting in. And he literally just laid down over At this point, we were 22 feet up in a tree. We had a north wind. We were sitting just west of a rub line that we knew a buck was coming from food to bedding. And an hour before daylight, just before this bear came in, we had a few deer come in and they snort wheezed and never made it past our tree stands. So we were trying to figure out how we got winded. Our wind was perfect. Did the deer catch our scent from our walk in? Maybe. By the time it hit daylight and that bear came into the bottom of our tree, it's when we realized that bear was directly in between us and where those deer were going to be coming from. This black bear hung out for about 45 minutes and then headed up the mountain. We stayed in the tree stands for another three hours till about 11 o'clock and then made our way down to head out for lunch. Yeah guys, that was pretty awesome. He came right to the bottom of our tree. Just hung out for a while. So Erdman and I got in here about 4.30 this morning. We were about 70 yards further to the west, up in a set of double hang on stands. At about 8.30 this morning, we had a black bear come into the tree. And he was gonna start climbing up the tree. And Erdman chased him off a little bit. Little black bear hung out for about a good half hour. Probably 200, 250 pound black bear. I headed straight up the mountain. So Erdman is still up on the hang on tree stand, facing west. And I'm over here, like I said, 70 yards to the east. And I'm sitting on the ground. As soon as we had daylight this morning, we had two or three different bucks come in and they blew. Now I don't know if they were blowing at us or if they were blown because that black bear was in here. And that's why I wanted to move over to the east a little bit further so I could see what was going on over here. So we'll see. We're in here, it's uh, 1.30 in the afternoon. We're gonna stay here for the rest of the day. It's got the squirrels all riled up. I don't know if it's a coyote. I just had Mama Bear about 50 yards north of me.
was Mama Bear. We saw a smaller bear that went about 250 pounds this morning, about 8.30. And now just about 20 minutes ago, I saw a bigger bear above me. At least 400, 450 pounds, maybe more. She was pretty big. We've only got about 15 minutes left of daylight. First day of bow season. It's still a pretty interesting day. We got some deer coming. One doe came up to 20 yards. I stepped out to get ready for a shot. I didn't see the fourth doe behind them. And they all hightailed it down through. Had a recording on my phone. My nerves were getting me pretty good there. It was taking me a minute to calm down. I was watching those deer for at least five minutes. My 
eyes are still shaking. Oh, that sucks. That was so close. Almost me in the freezer, man. Damn it. Can't move my GoPro because it's on a fixed mount. Which really sucks. I was counting on my phone getting the video and the shot. I should have just stayed sitting right here. It's pretty hard to get a shot at four. 